So, hi all my friends. <laughs> I know I keep looking up. Um, <laughs> so now, uh, I, I just turned on the news here just to catch up a little bit um, on Fox News. And I guess they're uh, thinking about um, looking again into Hillary's uh, email situation and also Loretta Lynch, the... Um, uh, uh, the Senate is, you know, looking into conflicts of uh, interest and, and so forth. Um, so some of you may be thinking, oh, this is, you know, rehashing. This is, we've got bigger problems like North Korea, uh, you know, the economy and so forth. And um, uh, however, you know, a wrong uh, it, murder and, and all the stuff that she's done, um, she doesn't, in my book, doesn't get a pass for that, okay? Unfortunately, she'll have to pay the piper. One way or the other, um, uh, you know, that, that you know, she's, it, the law is the law. So if she's broken the law, she's going to have to pay the penalty, she and Bill and whoever else is involved. Um, so uh, Trey Gowdy has all of the... Uh, emails, you're not going to find anything new about it. They just weren't able to introduce a lot of things, apparently. Why? I don't know why that is. Um, but um, now Obama's doing a Facebook thing. Oh, good grief. Uh, <laughs> okay, hey, let's get, let's get going here with the Bible, um, and then I got to skedaddle. Uh, Okay, so we finish at uh, verse 17, and um, do be in prayer before you hear God's word. Okay, so uh, now we're talking about Tyrus, Tyrus here, um, the irrecoverable fall of Tyrus. Now Judah, the land of uh, Israel, uh, they were the, the merchants. They traded in the market. Uh, wheat of Mineth and Pingning and honey and oil and balm. So, and Damascus was the merchant in the multitude of wares of thy making for the multitude of all riches, the wine of uh, Helbon and, and white wool. Then also Javan going to and fro occupied in thy fairs, brought iron, uh, Cassica, Calamus were in thy market. It's a sweet, like a sweet cane. Okay. Um, Dedan was thy merchant in precious clothes for chariots. Arabia, sorry, Arabia. Why is why did they do that? Okay, uh, Arabia and all the uh, princes of Kedar occupied with the lambs and rams and goats, and they were thy merchants. The merchants of Sheba and Ramah, they were the merchants. They occupied the fairs with chief, the chief of all spices and with all precious stones and gold. So this place was, you know, rich with merchandise and all kinds of lovely, lovely things, you know. Um, and <clears throat> it says they, uh, they occupied the fairs with the chief of all spices, with all precious stones and gold. Haran and Cana and Eden and merchants of Sheba, Azure, Kalmad were thy merchants. Uh, these were thy merchants, all, all sorts of things, blue clothes, embroidered work, chest of rich apparel, bound with cords and made of cedar among thy merchandise. Can you imagine all of that craftsmanship and everything? Uh, anyway, I can't. Um, the ships of Tarshish did sing of thee in thy market and Thou was replenished and made very glorious in the midst of the seas. Thy roars have brought thee into great waters. Uh, they had huge ships and, and oars and, and you know, uh, just, I, I can't imagine just something to behold on the sea. Um, great roars into the great waters. East wind hath broken thee in the midst of the sea. Uh, thy riches in the fairs, the merchants, the mariners, pilots, the uh, calkers, the occupiers of thy merchandise, all the men of war that are in thee, and all thy company, which, in the, which is in the midst of thee, shall fall into the midst of the seas in the day of thy ruin. The suburbs shall shake at the sound of the cry of thy pilots, and all that handle the oar, the mariners, and all the pilots of the sea, 
shall come down from their ships and shall stand upon the land. And shall cause thy voice to be heard against thee and shall cry bitterly and shall cast uh, up dust upon thy heads. Thy, they shall wallow themselves in ashes. Lamentation. And they shall make themselves utterly bald for thee and gird thee with sackcloth and shall weep for thee with bitterness of heart and bitter wailing. And in their wailing they shall take up lamentation for thee and lament over thee, saying, What, what city is like Tyrus, like the destroyed in the midst of the sea? When thy wares went forth out of the sea, thou fillest many people. Thou didst enrich the kings of the earth with the multitude of thy riches and of thy merchandise. And in the time when thou shalt be broken by the seas and the depths of the water, thy merchandise and all thy company in the midst of thee shall fall. All the inhabitants of the isle shall be ast astonished at thee, and their kings shall be sore afraid, and they shall be troubled in their countenance. The merchants among the people shall hiss at thee, and thou shalt be a terror, never shall be any more. Chapter 28 The Judgments of Tyrus and Zid Zidon The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus saith the Lord God, because thy heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God, I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas, that thou art man and not God, that thou set thy heart in the heart of God. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches, and hast gotten gold and silver unto thy treasures. By thy great wisdom and thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches, and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of God, behold, therefore I will be, bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the debts of them that are slain in the midst of the sea. Wilt thou not yet say before him thou that saith thee, I am God? But thou shalt be a man, no God, in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Thou shalt die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers, for I have spoken it, saith the Lord God. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardis, topaz, diamond, beryl, onyx, jasper, sapphire, emerald, carbuncle, gold, workmanship of thy uh, musical instruments of the pipe appeared in thee in the day that thou wast created. Thou art the anointed cherub, the coveted, coveted, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created till iniquity was found in thee. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence. Thou hast sinned, therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee. O, co o covering cherub from the midst of the stones of fire, thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by re reason of brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings, they, that they may behold thee. Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thine iniquities, by the iniquity of the traffic. Therefore I will bring forth a fire from the midst of thee. It shall devour thee, and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all of them that behold thee. And they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee. Thou shalt be in terror, and never shalt thou be any more. Again the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, 
Son of man, set thy face against Zidion, and prophesy against it, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Zidion, and I will be glorified in the midst of thee. For they shall know that I am the Lord, that I shall have ex executed judgments in her, and shall be sanctified in her. For I will send into her pestilence, blood into her streets. The wounded shall be judged in the midst of her by the sword. Upon her every side they shall know that I am the Lord. And there shall be no more picketing barrier to the house of Israel, nor any grieving thorn of all that are round about them that despise them. They, they shall know that I am the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, When I have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered, and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen, and shall they dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob, they shall dwell safely therein, and they shall build houses, plant vineyards, yea, they shall dwell with confidence when I have executed judgments upon all those that despise them round about them, and they shall know that I am the Lord their God. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Chapter 29. Judgment of Pharaoh. Desolation of Egypt. Next. <laughs> I hope you have a blessed day. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.